Hey, Shalom, I'm Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Badash. All right, peace and blessing out there, teaching the truth and teaching in sincerity. The body of the apostles, the elders of our great millstone, who are the true apostles, the elders of all Israel. All right, this is Brother Yahweh Sap with another quick lesson. Um, and basically, uh, today, um, again, I'm going to be going into, um, you know, don't serve the Lord to impress others. You know, serve the Lord to please the Most High. You know, don't serve the Lord to please others, but to please the Most High. You know, because if you get caught up in trying to serve the Lord to try to please everyone, you know, you're not going to be able to do it, man. You're eventually going to fall out because every brother has different expectations. Everyone has different expectations on how they see you serving the Lord, man. You know, some brothers are way more on fire than others, you know. You know, some brothers that, you know, some brothers do lessons every day. Some brothers do lessons every other day. And some brothers do, you know, their some brothers do lessons uh, the the three times a week, man. Everyone has their lot, you know, but it's all a different part of the body. And we all come together to make up that body, man. So the foot can't do what the eye can. You know, the ear can't, the ear can't do what the mouth can. All right. Your fingers, your your fingers can't do what your organs can, man. You know, every every part of the body has to work together to to maintain. OK, so don't get, you know, speaking to myself, first and foremost, of course, don't get caught up trying to please trying to please the brothers, man. You know, as long as you know you're doing right, you know, you're putting up your lessons, you're going out on the highways and byways, you're doing what's necessary to serve you. How about you? Not only do brothers not only brother, not not only do brothers not have anything to say to you, you know, but the Lord is watching, man. You know, you know, the Lord is watching, you know, personally, I post videos, um, you know, I post videos not for not only for the brothers, but for the Lord. You know, I post uh, so that I so that I know I'm being, you know, I'm washing the blood off of my hands so that I know that I, I, I'm trying or so that I'm so that I have faith that I'm securing a spot within that chariot, man. And that's all we that's all that's what we're all doing, man. You know, we're serving the Lord to obtain that salvation for us. Not for anyone else, you know, because if if it was like that, if, you know, if, if, um, if we were able to serve the most high for another brother, man, that would be giving that brother, um, leeway to slack off, you know, because you're, you're making up for that. But no, man, you know, serve the Lord for yourself, you know, and if a brother, if a brother, you know, has a, has a problem with the way you serve the Lord, I mean, hey, you can talk it out. You know, but uh, I don't. Me personally, I've never ran into that to to that issue. Or I've never ran into an issue where a brother had a problem with the way I was serving the Lord. Because we're all different, man. We all have kindred spirits. We're all, we're, we're we're not all the same, man. You know. So I want to go ahead and get this started, man. This is gonna be Philippians chapter two and verse twelve, and it says, "Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as as in my presence only, but how much more in my absence." Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. That's right. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay, because if you're you're gonna sit here and try to work out, you know, the brother's salvation, you're gonna try to work out the elder salvation, and you you're gonna get you're gonna get caught up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're sitting here trying to please everyone, All right? So I want to go ahead and get into this real quick. Get some definitions. All right. Um, your own salvation which in the Greek says um, Strong's G 1438 Heiatu Heiatu that's right it says him himself herself itself themselves you know they're you know your own self and that's right so you work out your own salvation you know with with fear and trembling so according to how much your faith is you're gonna do as much as you can for the Lord man you know, no brother can boost your faith. No brother can cause you to work more, man. <laughs> a brother can rebuke you or you can rebuke a brother all day. And it's all, at the end of the day, it's up to the to the most high and him. Um, well, it's up to the most high to increase him. But it's also up to him to pray that the Lord increases him or her, you know. So that's something that we must keep in mind is to... Um, Try not to let 
you know brothers get to you that much man try not to let a, a brother rebuke you a brother rebukes you out of love man you know but if the if the rebukes are constant and you're constantly getting cussed out you're constantly being rebuked constantly being being told something man that's that's time you know it's time to look within yourself and be like okay look you know they can't correct me i well, the only one that can correct me is myself you know and the lord you know so that's when you start praying to the lord that he corrects you man you know brothers can pray for you all day <laughs> but you know it doesn't matter if you don't have faith you know if you don't have faith and that's you know that that's it you know matter of fact let's go ahead and get this real quick this is going to be the book of hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1 or 11 slakia hebrews 11 and 1 it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen that's right so it says verse 2 for by it the elders obtained a good report through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of Yahweh, so that things which are seen are not made of things which do appear okay so by faith you know now faith is the substance of things hoped for if you just in this thing and you you know you're not doing what you can and you know you're constantly being rebuked or you're 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 constantly getting into trouble ultimately you don't believe man because brothers are trying to help you they're trying to you know tell you look brother you're messing up and you're doing the same things you know that means that you 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 don't have faith man you gotta you gotta do what you can to increase that faith you know do what you can if you're truly sincere you know the lord will the lord will increase you man you know I just did a lesson like two minutes ago two, well five six minutes ago you know, um, you going into how the Lord, the, the the heavens rejoice over a sinner's repentance. One sinner's repentance. You know, the heavens rejoice over that, man. Because that's who the Lord came to call, was sinners. You know, so if you're getting all these warnings and you're getting all these these things, man, you it's time to look within yourself. You know, stop trying to please a brother. Stop trying to, stop trying to please everyone else. You know, please the Lord within serving him, man. Please the Lord with when 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 trying to um when 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 serving him, man. You you don't you're not in this thing to please anyone else. Cause you might be doing what what, what one brother says and then get end up getting rebuked because that's not you. That's not your spirit, man. You know, as the as the elders on down, as the apostles and elders on down like to say, you know, don't be a don't be a parrot, man. Just repeating what everyone else is doing or what everyone else is saying. Get your own understanding, you know, get your own, get your own things. Of course, it's all going to be the same, you know, it's all going to be the same. We're all the same mind, but you can't just be repeating everything. You you can't just be letting everything go in through one ear and out the other, man. You know, because at that point, mm -hmm. you're being a parent mm -hmm. and you're going to get rebuked, man. You know, you're going to, you, because you're trying to please someone else, man. You're not trying to please the most high. You're not being sincere with it, you know. So what does it say? Verse four, by faith, Abel offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testifying of his gifts and by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. And that's right. He speaks to what example? You know, because Abel, he offered unto Yahweh a more excellent sacrifice. A, you know, Cain was, the, was the, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he was the elder brother. You know, and Abel, he didn't, if he was trying to please, please Cain, you know, he would have went and offered the same thing that, you know, that Abel, that Cain did. And would have got rebuked the same way. You know? Alright? And every single time, you know, the prophets come into the, come onto the scene, they're not trying to please, they're not trying to please everyone, man. They're trying to please the most high. They're not trying to be, look cool. You know, they're not doing this to look cool. Hell, Isaiah priest naked for for three years you know um prophets were killed for this truth man now if they were trying to please everyone you know if they were trying to please everyone it would they would eventually they would eventually they would have been men of the lord because what does it say man it says woe unto you who who speak who do people speak well of you man let me see if i can get that real quick okay this is uh luke 6 and um, verse 26, it says, Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you.
for so did their fathers to the false prophets. That's right. So it says, woe unto you um, that speak well unto you, that when men speak well of you, because you, you're not preaching the truth, man. You're not, you're not saying the truth. You know, you're trying, you're busy trying to please everyone else because pleasing everyone else doesn't just go to the brothers, man. You know, because ultimately, brothers, as long as you're serving the Lord to the best of your ability and you, you, you on it, brothers don't care, man. Hey, man, you're serving the Lord. I have nothing to say to you. But if you're not serving the Lord and you just you constantly making mistakes, man, and you constantly doing things out of out of pocket, man, you going the Lord's going to not only going to correct you, but you're going to give rebukes, man. You're going to get in trouble. <coughs> oh, excuse me. You know, and it, you're not getting in trouble by the brothers. You know, the brothers, you know, so brothers care about you, of course. But at the, at the same time, they, hey, man, you, you got to get on it. Right now, you know, brothers may be looking at you funny, but how how do you feel about the Lord looking at you funny, man? You know, because if you look warm, the Lord's gonna spill you, spew you out of His mouth, man. You only get so many warnings before before the Lord spews you out. You only get so many warnings before that judgment comes. You know, if you're not on your watch, the Lord the Lord's gonna spew you out. And in, in the times that we're in now, with everything popping off the way it is, man, it. The Lord is drawing nigh, man. The judgment is drawing nigh. So it's time to nut up or shut up. All right. So with that being said, man, I didn't want to make this too long. Um, but hey, man, don't please everyone else. Please the Lord. You know, don't do this to get views, to get subscribers. Don't do this to have certain brothers look at you like, man, you know, that's cool. Yeah, that you know that might come with it. But not every brother is made to be recognized, man. Not every brother is made, you know, to be, to be, you know, on top like that. You know, there are certain brothers that are, that are just made to be a help. There are certain brothers that are just made to be there. Yeah, you, you may get some recognition, but, you know, as the elders said, you know, you don't start getting recognition until you, in this, what, five plus years? If even at that. You know, that's when you that's when you start becoming sort of relevant, sort of, <laughs> because now you got you now you're able to eat meat and now you're able to now you have, you know, you when you first come into this thing, you're a babe. You're still learning. Even when you're five years in, 10 years in, 30 years in, you're still learning. Apostle Tahar always comes out with something new from the scriptures, man. He, he he's been in this thing 30 plus years. <laughs> All right. But and he's not doing it to he's not doing it to please anyone. Elder Yashua ain't doing it to please anyone. He, the, the Ariella, the Ariella, you know, um, Bazak, you know, all all the brothers that that seem that you see that are are like recognized. They're not doing it to please anyone, man. They're doing it to please the Lord. So we got you got to be the same way. You know, of course, once again, I want to make this point valid. I'm not speaking to anyone in particularly, you know, speaking to myself first and foremost, of course, you know, but to, if any brothers feel, if any brothers hear this and they're, you know, they're shot to the heart, you know, hey, you know, there's something that you got to fix. You know, just pray that the Lord increases you in whatever issue you're having. That way you don't have that issue, man. You know, as long as you believe, the Lord said, if you have the faith as small as a grain is a mustard seed, you know, you can move mountains. All right. So with that being said, I want to give all praise and honor and glory once again. Kahalanya mihawa, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakwadash. Till the next time I say, Shalom.